hello friends welcome everyone back to my channel and I have a marketplace video to share with you today I'm highlighting some journals made by Megan Sullivan she does have an Etsy shop and some uh, internet presence that I will share with you I believe she wrote that down and I can show that to all of you but she sent a couple journals for the marketplace if you're not sure what the marketplace is it's an online consignment shop that I run for junk journals made by people like you all over the world you can consign your journals with me I market them photo them film them ship them I do all the work all you have to do is make the journal and get it to me so if that sounds interesting to you please let me know and I'll be glad to send you the guidelines for that so we're gonna start off with this massive masterpiece this B journal you've got to see the spine on this baby look at how huge that is here's my hand for reference look at the gorgeousness of the ribbon she's put on here and the little pin I think it's a pin yep look at how pretty that is I don't think yeah they're not actually um, bound with these ribbons that's just for decoration these are actually bound into the spine I think it's a hidden spine there's four chunky chunky signatures look at how pretty look at the metal book corners love the bee fabric the big fabric flower with the felt hive isn't that gorgeous look at the yellow ribbon holding it closed this is a masterpiece wow okay so let's um look at this behemoth beekeepers junk journal 308 pages four signatures sewn with five whole pamphlet stitch and then she gives information about where she got some of the materials um, a full flip through can be found here she did a flip through too if you want more information so you can pause this video there and type that into your search box um, she's used some digital kits from Jibid Neary TLC creates vintage Artie Mage, Graphics Fairy, Public Domain. Um, she's given more information about where she got stuff, which is absolutely amazing. And then here is all of her social media, Etsy, web, Facebook, Instagram, and email. So you can pause it and then write those down if that interests you at all. So let's get right into this. So here on the front, first let's talk about this gorgeous, um, spine here and how she's reinforced it this is super sturdy look at that gorgeous gold and all the stitching we have a pocket in the front with some ephemera and then a note from the bookmaker she has a little note for you which is super super sweet and then she has included so much oh my word so if you love bees and yellow and happiness, this would definitely be the journal for you. She's got her um, business card in here as well. Looks like maybe some eco dyed pages. Look at the trims. It is amazing what she's done. Oh, that's, that's part of this tag. How pretty, all the honeycomb shapes. Uh, Megan is a true artist for sure look at that it's like a acetate window you can see the bee through it and here you can see the flowers on that side love the yellows the book pages the trims but there's still a lot of room to write or to add photos or ephemera that flip oh look at that and then it's just like a little pocket page that it sits in right there there's a coloring book page oh I love that page punch isn't that pretty we have a fabric ruffle Like these photo sleeves this is incredible just so yummy to look at okay so you can see the um, ribbon in between the signatures 
And that much space between the signatures does allow you to actually add quite a bit more to this journal, even though it is quite full. When you have that much space between signatures, you can still add stuff before it gets too wide. See, if we close it, it look at how much space it has to expand. And that's because of the space that she's added between the signatures. So you still feel like you can play in it for sure. Love the stitching she's done. She's added so much. Look at that gorgeous book pages. There's quotes, all sorts of be ephemera. Look at how cute. Oh, I love that. The stitching she's done to make the lines. Look, look at that. If you're interested in purchasing any of her journals or any of the few marketplace journals that are left over from previous videos, if you click the link to my shop below, which is nevermorecreations17.com, there'll be a section on the homepage called Marketplace. And that is where I have all of the Marketplace journals that have not sold yet. Check back frequently because sometimes you can snag one before the video goes live. Sometimes, look, I love that. Look at the diagonal stitching on that. Um, the, the journals are always up before the video goes live. So my process is film the video, list all the journals, upload the video. So sometimes between listing all the journals and getting the video fully uploaded, there may be a few hours lapse. Um, it could just be minutes, but it might be hours or at most a day if I get busy and have to come back the next day. So look at how beautiful that is. So sometimes you can snag a jewel before it is um, actually uploaded and kind of get a head start on that. Also, some of the journals that didn't sell from previous uh, videos are still in there waiting for a home. And every so often I go in there, lower the price a little bit until they sell. So you might find an amazing treasure there as well for a bargain. And of course I have so many other sections in the shop so you can pick up some supplies, digitals, prints, other things like that while you're shopping. I love the colors in her journal. It is incredible. So much care attention beauty I love all the different stitching she's done beautiful oh. That is truly incredible. So you've got that one. And then this one is so fun. Look at how amazing this is. I'm not sure, hopefully she tells, I'm sure she'll tell us what she did, but it, it's, it's almost like it's an acrylic pour, like a canvas surface. And then she has all this mixed media flower she's done and a little dangle, some trim on the edges. It's a soft cover and then fabric on the inside. Fairy themed junk journal, book two. Okay, so mixed papers. Cover has a mixed media layered flower made from kids book. All right, book binding, I'm trying to see. I'm not sure, but there's a complete YouTube flip through for this. She might tell you how she made the cover, but it feels incredible. So we've got some Fairy images, some pretty bookmarks. Oh, I love the crumpled and inked effect. Look at how pretty the mixed media elements are. You have some fairy book pages. Some fairy ephemera, of course. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the gold and the purple and the blue. I hope it shows up really well on camera because that is incredible. Got a gold page here. 
Got some sticky notes. They're always great for, you know, making little notes. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to remember to do that in some of my journals. So fun. And you can see the beautiful use of the plain white paper in this. Because of the bright colors, it just, it's so crisp and clear, gorgeous. These are like tracing paper. Coffee dyed paper isn't necessary in this. I mean, you could do it if you wanted, but the way she's done these sprays and added things, oh, so pretty, the big doilies. Love it, oh my goodness. So that is gorgeous. There is another one, so this must be fairy book one. Look at this cover. Isn't that beautiful? It really does look like acrylic pour. I bet you that she did it. Maybe she'll say in this one. And then again, that mixed media flower. Yeah, fluid art, soft color. My fluid art painting with fabric lining as the cover on the cover of mixed media layered flower. Yeah, so that's what I thought. This is, she's painted these. Beautiful. My sister-in-law also does those uh, for wall art but I had her, I bought one from her and turned it into a journal cover a while back. A lot of fun to work with. Again, this one is similar, fairy themed, beautiful little bits and pieces of ephemera. Love the dyed pages, the book pages. It's just so fun and you can add a ton to it because of all of the blank spots and white spots. I have a digital kit called Fairy Frolics that you might be interested in purchasing um, if you buy one of these because you could add a lot of that ephemera and things to this journal. If I'm right, I believe I created that kit for Megan. I'm pretty sure I did. So there's that pretty one. Look at this one. I am in awe. Look at how gorgeous. I know she painted that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my word, and the fabric inside. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. So pretty. I love it. It's one of those ones that is definitely my style. It's the type of one I would use personally. We all have our own styles and things that we are drawn to. This is definitely would be one of my top favorite styles. Look at the embossed paper here. It's beautiful what she's done with these books. The little collages, the dyed papers. I love the lace pockets, the little tags. Okay, let's see if she said anything about this one. It's called Blooming Rosettes. Again, it's a fluid art soft color cover including there's avocado dyed paper in here. Very, very beautiful. So there's that one. And then she has graced us with one more. Look at this one. This might be another bee themed. There's a bee. I'm not sure if it's bee themed. There's a tassel. Look at that. Look at the beads. So we've got an envelope there. Oh, sometimes it's hard to focus on the little beads. There's a key. So pretty, even on the back. Lace on the edges. Oops. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Sunny Memories. It's sunflower, nature, and motivational. So she's used Sunny Days Digital Kit from Calico Collage. Calico Collage is definitely one of my favorite graphic design artists 
for junk journals. Her stuff is incredible. She's one of my main inspirations for sure. So there's little motivational quotes. I love what she's done. Little file folder booklet. Little vellum pockets with scraps and tags. Pearl paper. Wow, all of the lace is beautiful. Wow, so pretty. This just makes you happy, you know, like it makes you want to journal. I would think somebody who isn't a journaler would want to be one if they saw this book. I love how it's motivational and it has quotes. Beautiful. There's a lot of pages in here. Look at that. Oh, wow, it's incredible how she's done some of these pages. These are some treasures here for sure. Like major major you want them in your collection look at that that's cut out of that page it's like a vellum or a acetate thank you so much for sharing all this with us megan it is just beautiful you've inspired me for sure I've just started um, a new project and I'm trying to, I'm calling them pack rat journals. And I mean that in the nicest way. Um, and their journals just using up scraps. So I'm getting inspiration here for ways to use bits and pieces. I have so many scraps laying around. I know you all do too. And I just love finding ways to use them. Beautiful, beautiful, oh my word. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any comments below for Megan or myself and I'll be glad to read them. Thank you so much, have a lovely day.